everybody, it's Lon Seidman with part two of our HP Stream Mini Review, and I know a lot of you are going to be asking, can you upgrade this thing? And the answer is yes, both the RAM uh, and the hard drive. And the nice thing is, is that they made it really easy to get into it. So all you got to do here is just kind of uh, lift up this little rubber foot here, and it's not even glued in. It just kind of snaps in with its little rubber feet here, so really easy to take this off. And it actually uh, has a little thing to keep it from getting lost as well, so really easy to work with here. There are three screws and that is it. You just undo those screws and you can lift the entire thing up like so and you are in there. Uh, really neat, really fast to get in there. Uh, what was really pleasing to see first of all is that uh, the RAM has got two slots available. So one of them is taken up by the two gigs that you already have and you can pop in another one or pop this out and put more RAM in. It does run the 64-bit version of Windows. So I think, I don't know what the maximum RAM is on this, but I think you can go easily to 16, I would imagine, probably eight definitely. Uh, so you do have some great options on the RAM there. The other cool thing is that you can also get at the hard drive uh, there's a little SanDisk M2 uh, SSD in here, so you can just take off this top metal plate here, uh, pull that drive out, and put in another one that you can buy pretty much anywhere. Uh, the wireless card is on the side here also. These look like these little mini uh, PCI Express slots in there, so I think you might be able to put some other kind of card in there as well. So it looks like it is a lot more upgradable than the Chrome box, uh, very easy to get at also, which was really nice too, so that was cool. Now you'll notice here that this uh, metal tray here looks like a hard drive mount, and it is because they have a more expensive version of this running with an i3 processor versus the Celeron called the Pavilion. That one's like in the $400 price range. Uh, that's going to have a regular spinning 500 gig drive. I don't know if you can get an adapter maybe for one of these PCI Express ports to maybe convert uh, into a regular SATA adapter so you could plug in a bigger SSD if you wanted to. But you can get some pretty decent size uh, SSDs in that uh, little SanDisk form factor right there, which I think uh, might be a good option too. So I think if you're looking at this from the standpoint of you know, wanting to bump the RAM up a little bit and maybe put a bigger hard drive in to boot multiple operating systems or just have more available storage on the faster uh, SATA drive there, uh, you can certainly do it with this and uh, really easy to work with. You just saw how easy it was to unscrew it and uh, pop the lid off of it. Really cool stuff. So that is the HP Stream Mini, very upgradable, very accessible, and another good reason to give this one a shot for your low-end PC needs. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.